Hello and welcome to this playthrough of Final Girl sponsored by Van Ryder Games. This is coming from a live stream on Twitch and then landing on YouTube. So, hi YouTube. If you're not watching this live because you're watching it on YouTube, uh, you can see I'm going to have Twitch chat. It's, I'm, yep, right there. So that you can see when I interact with them, you'll be able to see what they said so that you have some uh, context there. Uh, and I've turned the sounds for my alerts off on Twitch to not be too obtrusive. But if this seems fun to you, come on over to twitch.tv slash Paula Deming and you can watch these streams live. Again, this playthrough and YouTube upload is sponsored by Van Ryder Games. A huge thank you to them for sponsoring because, bias or not, I love this game and I'm thrilled to be able to play it for you. Um... Yes, hello Alone Shark who says, please add this hat to the wardrobe list for a movie. I have a purple one I can rock that will go well with it. Perfect. Alone Shark and I, as my look gets more and more like Alone Sharks, if you know Alone Shark, you know what I'm talking about. Um, we are planning our, our twin movie, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen style, so yeah. Mia Cario, hello, welcome in. Okay, so here we are in the Wolf Asylum with the Ratchet Lady. I will be playing Veronica today, hence the... That's not the thing I wanted. Hence the beret. Uh, oh, this is her special power. Okay, I chose Veronica because she's very different from every other final girl I've ever played with. Look, all of her benefits for rescuing a victim are gaining time. Every single one. Now, I've never played with anyone like that. I've never focused on trying to gain extra time. Um... But I thought this will be a fun thing to try today. You know, let's see, can we use all this extra time to get really cool cards to help us against the Ratchet Lady? So that's what we're trying today. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Now she starts with five health. I only have four right now because we still need to pick our, um, our, uh, our last uh, health chit. And we need to do that with our baddie here, our killer, the Ratchet Lady, who's going to have some minions today. That's what the M is for. She starts with six health, but she can heal up past six. She has no upper limit. So she could be really nasty. Her horror level starts at five, which is why I have that marked right here on the five. Uh, and we need to choose again her last health as well to get her starting to six. Um, yeah, the Wolf Asylum here, you can see we've got the doctor's office, an operating theater, a utility closet, medical storage, that's where we're going to be able to search for items. I'm very interested in these pills, which we'll talk about in a moment. I haven't done any of my other setup, which we'll do shortly, but we'll have some pills that we can put out on the board. And if we take the pills, we'll have different effects that happen, and we might have to, depending on how many pills we take, we might have to deal with some side effects here from the side effect deck. They also might help amp us up, which will give us a special power to use during the game, which could help us defeat the Ratchet Lady. Uh, we also have uh, in here, we're going to have some victims who are patients of the asylum, and they might uh, get so traumatized, basically, that they uh, have a break in reality, become a maniac, and will turn into these red minion meeples. Uh, we can't save them when they're uh, minions, but we can calm them with a calm card that comes, a new action card in this set. And if that works, they can turn back into victims who we can try and save. So we're gonna like go through specifics as we play, but that's like the basic deal. So we need to do our the rest of our setup and flip a first event and we can get going here. Hi, said I seen who says, I appreciate how flexible the final girl mechanics are, room for all kinds of different opponents and final girls. I agree. I think, and this is something I was saying about um, season two before we, uh, I do a little chat with the Twitch chat before we actually start um, the, the stream. I cut that out from the YouTube uploads, YouTube, but I was just saying with Twitch chat, like how interesting I think all the season two feature films are and how different each one is. It's, it's a very cool system, I think. Again, this is a sponsored stream. So take that with a grain of salt, but I I really love the game. And I happen to have the best of both worlds where a game I love is also something I'm getting sponsored to play for you. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> Sass green, <laughs> you're making me laugh. 
Hi Vortac, all set to copy your initial setup event and we'll see how I do. Camelisk uh, here in the Twitch chat is gonna be playing along with us at home and I imagine he will do better than we will, but we'll find out. All right, so first, actually the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Twitch chat help me choose which health tokens. Let's choose for the Ratchet Lady first. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Give me a number, the first person to type a number in chat as I eat a bit of granola bar, and that's the health chit that we will give to the ratchet lady. Okay, Hornet said eight. Super bad is funny, I saw next, which is four, and that's one I'll choose for me. So, one, two, three, four, that one's mine. Five, six, seven, eight, and that one's ratchet ladies. So, who knows? There might be extra health on the bottom, on the back side of these, and we won't know until one of us dies, and we flip it over and see if we actually spring back to life horror movie style. Okay. Great. Let's do our setup. We have a solitary life. Oh boy. Okay, so our killer goes in the operating theater. That's a little scary. And per the rules of setup for this um, for this uh, killer, two minions go in the space with her to start. Now, if minions get killed, that does not increase the bloodlust. Only if victims get killed. Super bad is funny. I also hope, I hope this, honestly, I hope this has three health on it, but we're going to find out. Okay, so now this tells us one where to put pills. Let me make this so it's a little easier to see for you all. And those are the kind of gray circles there and where we start and where all of our victims are. Oh, everyone's alone in here. I guess that's why it's a solitary life, except for two victims in the common room. And then I'll double check that there isn't any other pill setup I need to do. So on the back side of these pills is a color that says what kind of pill it is. So you'll see here, if I end up, if I find a yellow pill and take it, I'll heal. Purple pills make me faster I can move one space and pink pills lower the horror I guess they make me more brave and then if you mix them up uh, which we'll talk about when I get multiple pills you get awesome stuff so like a yellow and a purple you recover all health a yellow and a pink you get five time a purple and a pink the horror goes down by three but then I have to draw side effect cards so okay so we get a pill here in this exit a pill here in that corner of the room, a pill in the hall, a pill in this gross looking room. I start in solitary confinement. That's not good. They knew, they knew when they saw me, she's trouble. Put her in solitary. And then let's put our victims out. Okay, here, here. I'm not going to leave them laid down the whole time, but since there's only one in each spot, we'll lay them down because it makes them a little easier to see. But as we get more potentially in similar areas, I'll, I'll probably stand them up so we have more room. Ooh, one's in the utility closet. And then one in this hallway. Let's make sure we have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's all of them. <clears throat> Just gonna double check about if there are any more pills that need to go. You start with four on the board. Draw them from the pool and place them on the board face down. Place the pill effects card next to your player board. Okay, well I have it here. Draw one pill token and place it face up beneath the card. There should now be five tokens left in the pool. I think that's just so you have one that you won't have access to. So we'll take this one, face up beneath the card. It's a purple one. I don't know if we were supposed to know that or not, but we know it now. 
All right. Oh, super bad. It's funny talking about the minis in the game. I would love to play with the minis. They're just so hard to see on stream. I don't usually stream with the minis. Yeah, just because they're hard to kind of tell what they are. But yeah, the minis are pretty cool. All right. Now I can collect pills. If I end my movement in a space with a pill token, I can spend one time to pick one up. Just like in other uh, future films when they're like crafting or other items, you end your movement there, you can pick up the item by spending some time to do it. All right, that's that set. So now we pull our event and see what the first thing that happens is. Now this could be bad. I, I looked through some of these events last night when I was setting up and some of them are like, horrible mean doctors are roaming the halls and stuff like that so oh you think that pill is my starting pill it says place it face up beneath your pill effects card why would I put it underneath my card if I can start with it though right Oh, just place it face up beneath your pill effects card. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. I guess we could just start with that. Never mind. Thank you, chat. Oh, oh, it doesn't mean literally. Here's what I read. This is for everyone. This is fun for everyone. Place it face up beneath your pill effects card. I read that to mean literally beneath, underneath my pill effects card. That's not what that means. It means this says available pills at the bottom. It means like down here. <laughs> That's a nice little window into how my brain works, right? Thank you. This is why Twitch chat is so important for playthroughs like this because they help me read things correctly. So learn from me, everyone at home. It doesn't mean put it under your card. You're not allowed to use it or see it. It means put it here in the section where it says available pills. Under, beneath, attack Mac. Who cares? Exactly, Borg and Brie. We continue to be brain twins. Uh, so it goes in this section here. We have this. We started with a purple, which is cool. That lets us move. Y'all, if we take all three pills at once, that's how we get an amped card. And I'm amped about the amped cards. All right. Everything's fixed. Everything's fixed. Let's do this event. Thank you, Twitch chat. Medical stockpile. There are worse places to be injured, that's for sure. The first time in a phase that you or an enemy recover at least one health, you or the enemy recover an additional health. I don't like this event. So this will be an ongoing event. I don't like it. Because it means she's going to heal up even more. I don't like it. Hi, Attack Max says, question, I've heard about this game, never looked into it. Is it like a slasher horror movie game? Yes. It is. Uh, it is a horror movie game in which we are trying to be the final girl, the last girl standing at the end of the whole thing where we were the survivor. So that's the hope. And in this one, we are set in an asylum with this crazy monster nurse lady who wants to kill us and everyone. And we are playing a Veronica. But there's a variety of settings and final girls that you can play with. Yeah. Yeah, the final girl, exactly. All right. I'm going to eat some granola. It's definitely not a dating game. We're not trying to get a rose. We're just trying to live, right? You all probably don't want to see my breakfast on screen. Noda in chat is pulling her normal self and rooting for the killer. Let's go. We start with all of our zero cost cards in hand. What in the world do we want to start doing? I'd like to collect pills. 
I'd also really like to go, so in the utility closet, which we're near, we have an item, Mysterious Pills. Immediately discard this card and take two pill tokens. And I think the more pills we get, the better off we're going to be because it means we have more buffed powers. And I think it's going to be worth, even if we end up taking some side effects, I think it's going to be worth it. Um, oh, nice. Enjoy your lurk attack, Mac, and your horror alien isolation achievement hunting. Oh, Mr. Imp, that could be cool. Mr. Imp is suggesting, I wonder how it would be to play it as a co-op. Two girls, two villains, one map. That would get wild, I think. All right. So what do we want to do? I think, where else are we near? Medical school storage is here, and that's where there's a scalpel, which is thematically appropriate. Getting a weapon would be great. We also have a defibrillator, which we can use to stun enemies. So in this one, if we stun them, um, they lose their movement for the turn, which could be really helpful too. I actually like all of the items that are showing right now. I wonder if we should go around. Y'all know, for the people who have watched me play this game in the past, I don't tend to do a lot of item getting in this game, but I feel like maybe I should because those are all good. I can try and work my way around. Maybe I wait on the pills and I pop down, collect this pill here, medical storage, grab this person, take them to this exit, and I just like work my way around. Because there are exits actually pretty conveniently spread throughout the location. Though we can only take two people with us. So let's try and move down to here to grab this pill and make our way to medical storage. So... The first thing, actually the first thing we're gonna do is spin the car to try and focus, uh, to lower the horror, because it's starting at five and that's bad. Um, so we're gonna play that first. So we're gonna roll two dice, and if we can get two successes, we'll lower the horror and gain some time, and if we get one success, we'll lower the horror and lose some time, but that's okay. We didn't get any successes, but we can discard two cards to turn one into a success. Which isn't like my favorite thing in the world, but we will do this. So I'll discard my weak attack and my short rest because we don't need them to start off the game with really anyway. It's never great. Some people are like, just spend your whole first turn spending your time getting more cards. I never tend to do that. Um, so that, discarding the two cards, which you can see from the symbol on this die, that two card symbol, will turn this into one success. So that means I can lower the horror by one, it's now four, but I, I do lose a time, so that goes down to five. And for if you don't know the game, this time here is our currency for buying basically more cards from our little tableau here uh, for actions for uh, subsequent turns. All right, let's see what happens when we walk. Let's see if we can bust our way out of solitary confinement and make our way to where this pill is in medical storage to try and grab that scalpel. So again, we roll two dice because of the number here with the horror level. And we're if we can get two successes, we'll move two spaces. Wow. This is not a good start, y'all. It's really, this is a bad start. because we've already, this is just a straight up failure. I can't discard anything and I don't have any cards for even changing that. So we just hurt ourselves. We can move up to one space and take a damage or we just lose two time. I, let's move. We're gonna take the damage, but we are gonna move one space. So we're gonna come out into here. That's so horrible and I don't like it. Oh, and we lose two time. Mm, let's try and walk again. Cause if I can get into this room and stop there, I'll pick that pill up. Sorry, I didn't show you how I moved. So I left solitary confinement and came into there. Now this victim will follow me into the next space. <laughs> Randito, hello. It's his favorite part, seeing Paul's expression on her inevitable bad rolls. <sighs> oh, all right, so we're going to try to walk. Uh, 
Okay, so we got one success there, which means we can move up to one space. We lose a time. We're only going to have two now to start with for our shopping, which isn't great because we spent all of our cards. It's not the best start, but we can go up to one space. Two spaces would be so good, and I just can't make it happen because I don't have two cards to discard. But this victim will come with me, and we're going to move into... I guess I could... Should I change my plan and go up into the utility closet? I think I always have a plan at the start of the game. And then whatever happens on my first turn, my plan fully changes. All right, new plan. We're going up into the utility closet. So I now have two victims with me in the utility closet. And next turn, we can try and get them to the exit and save them. And we can also maybe try and search and get the mysterious pills. I'm going to hold on to this card. These come out here. And now I spend my two time to purchase some cards. And I don't have a lot, but I'm going to need to search. Oh, I don't have a, I'm not going to have a walk. Oh, boy. All I can do is get, this is really nasty, actually. I'm going to spend my two time to get this search. This is all I'm going to have next turn. Because I did a bad job. Because I rolled real bad. So this will reset. These all come back into the market. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah, because I can't get them. They're zero cost, but... I will have access to them until next turn. It's not great. It's not great. Oh boy, all right, now it's the killer phase. So minions are going to target me, the final girl. Sorry, everyone. Target me, final girl, and move. They have a speed of one. It, no, they have an attack of one. They have a health of one. Let me double check, is their speed also one? Yeah, one health and then an attack and movement value of one. So they'll move one toward me. And then the ratchet lady is going to target a victim or final girl in her space and attack. She's luckily alone, so that won't be happening, but minions go first. So they're going to come toward me, so they're both going to go one, one. So these uh, maniacs are now in that hallway with that victim, but they won't attack unless something bad happens with our tarot card. Because so now we pull a tarot card. Whispers in the dark. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next tarot card. There are, so... We will keep this card. The closest victim to the ratchet lady becomes a maniac. Oh no! <laughs> so these maniacs come into the space here, basically, uh, because this also happens to be the victim closest to the ratchet lady. And there's. You know, um, and drives them mad. Um, Foggy Broom says, good luck. This is a great scenario to play with a pack of Mentos for that added immersion. Every time I take a pill, I will, uh, I don't have any Mentos, but I'll eat some granola. How about that? So this victim now becomes a maniac as well. Not great. Then what? Maniacs only. Oh, no. Target final girl. Move, attack. Bloodlust goes up. That's bad. Oh no, they're going to I think they're going to kill this victim. So they're going to target me. They're all going to move here because they're coming toward me. But they're in the space with this victim. They attack. So they kill this one. I believe this is correct, which will make the bloodlust go up. And then honestly, y'all, I think the bloodlust goes up again because of this. And that's bad because now that makes Oh, man, y'all. That makes the horror go up. So all that work we did, all that card wasting to lower the horror, now the horror is up. <sighs> bad first turn. Real bad first turn. That's rough. Yep. A murder in a final girl game. I know. Harder to believe. That's not good. It's not a good thing. All right. It's me and I can't do a whole lot. We're all going to die. So I'm pretty sure that these people 
I was trying to save might get killed by the maniacs this turn because I don't think I can get them to the exit to save them but I can try and focus and search and then have no cards this is okay look it's fine it's fine yeah I moved the horror up to five it was on four and now it's on five so it's bad it's not great so let's focus to try and bring the horror back down again. So two dice again, because y'all, if it comes up here in the red area, if it gets to seven, two more increases, then I only have one die to roll. I'll never get any successes. Okay, one success and a failure that cannot be converted. So that means that the horror goes down one, so we're back to four and I lose a time. So we now have five time. So now I'm gonna search to try and get uh, these mysterious pills. <gasps> you know what I can do though? Oh, I can take my one purple pill to move one space. Cause you can do this at any time on your turn and save these two. That's how we're going to save them. We're going to take a pill. And if you only take one pill, you don't have to draw any side effects. So that's going to be really good. But first let's try to search. Okay, that's only one success. So we'll take the top item card at your space. If you get two successes, you can take the top and the face down card underneath it, look at them both and choose which one you want. But I wanted these mysterious pills anyway. So one success is okay. I will lose a time, because it takes time to search, but I'm gonna get these mysterious pills, which I can immediately discard this card and take two pill tokens. So this will discard, and then I get two pill tokens from the supply here. So let's see what I've got. Another purple and a pink. Okay, the pink will help me lower the horror. If I take a purple and a pink, I'll lower the horror three. Oh my gosh, should I just do that? I have to draw two side effect cards though. Oh boy. Okay, well here's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to take one purple pill and we're going to move one space. So I take this, it's only one. I do not have to draw a side effect card. So I will discard this. And then we're going to move, these two victims will follow me into this exit. This is actually, this could be, this is actually pretty good. So they will immediately run out the door. I save them, I say, get out of here and they go. So then they come over here to my card and I can gain time from them, which is great. So let's do, should we just do like the best amounts of time, three and three and get six time? We'll have 10 time to spend on cards. Uh, I think that sounds very good. So we're doing that. And then, whew, honestly, I think we risk it and take these two pills. We're gonna, have, again, we're gonna have to draw two side effect cards, but look, a pink and a purple, lower the horror by three. We'll have three dice. Now, they might immediately make the horror go back up again, but I feel like that's here. Let's do it. We're going big. We're going hard. I'm taking this pink and purple pill. You can take as many as you want on your turn. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just picking them up that costs you something. So I lower the horror by three. So I now have access to three dice. So let's draw two side effect cards and resolve them. Now these could say nothing, but they could also be like, you're paralyzed or something like that. Okay. First one, <gasps> no effect. Man, do I feel great. Okay, fingers crossed that this also is no effect. No! <laughs> This actually was the perfect time to get this. Brain fog. Discard one random item card if able. Do not draw any more side effects cards. It was right here a second ago. Where did I put it? Why is my head so fuzzy? Guess what game? We don't have any items because it was pills that we just took. <laughs> Do I shuffle these back in immediately? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Oh, 
Oh, I'm supposed to draw them one at a time and apply any effects on them. So if I had flipped this one over first, that would have been okay. But that's okay because the other one was fine. Ooh, I actually don't know. I think, mmm, do they shuffle back in? Chat? Any ideas? Do you really think you should trust the drugs you find in an asylum where people are murdering each other? Probably not, but look, desperate times, desperate measures, right? No worse than opening the doors, pushing the mental patients out to safety. Well, we're pretending we're saying that most of these people don't need to be here anyway. They're trapped here. They're trapped. I think these shuffle back in to the deck. I could be wrong, but that's what I think is going to happen. So I'm going to reshuffle. Gex, I love this scenario. Great setting and villain. Will you begin in season three when it arrives? Fingers crossed, yes. Hopefully I will be. Here's something fun, y'all. I'm getting a mini in the season three Kickstarter. There's going to be a mini of me for the game because of my promo card. I'm very excited about it. Okay. That's as good as our turn gets. We've done all the things. So... We get all of these cards back, all of our zero cost cards. One, two, three, four, five. We have a hand limit of 10. So I have 10 time to spend and I can get five cards. And I tell you what, y'all, we should get some good stuff. Cause like if we get critical blow now, we could hold on to it, right? Ooh, we should do a painting stream for the Paula Mini. I will call her Mini Me, Duck and Muck. So I think, all right, let's get, I almost never can afford the critical blow. It costs six, so let's grab it. Okay, then we definitely want to spend two on a sprint. And... I think also two on a guard because we should have it. Should we try and calm? Should I do two on a calm? Because then I can turn the maniacs into victims again. Let's do that because it'll be interesting to try because this is a new mechanism for this part of the game. So let's do that. That's what I've spent my cards on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards total. So this will reset to six. Mm hmm. Oh, that victim died before. We should should we have done a panic in the last thing? I think we should have. I skipped the panic phase. But no one was in a space with the minions or the killer, so no one would have panicked. Okay, great. Close calls would have been good as well to buy for the cards, but this is I've made my choice and we all have to live with it now. <gasps> Yeah, I can't wait to check out what the upcoming sets are going to be for season three, everyone. It's pretty exciting. All right. So now that's the end of me. So it's now the killer phase. So the minions uh, are going to target me and move. Luckily, they only move one. I'm going to have to go through their space and that. I'm going to have to deal with them next turn because I'm not going to be able to move out of their space because you take damage. Uh, if there's more than one minion in a space with you to get out of the space, you take damage. So I'm gonna have to do some attacking, I think. So they move one to there, and then the killer is going to target and attack, but again, she hasn't moved yet. She'll begin moving soon enough, but she hasn't yet. She probably will when we flip a tarot card. No, I don't like, look at this. I don't want a card that has eight steps on it. <sighs> That's terrible. Kestrel, thank you for that resubscription. 
Two tickets to the final girl gun show, please. Nah. This is terrible. It's called March of the Maniacs, and I'm not happy about it. Spawn a maniac at... Spawn a maniac at each empty exit space. This is bad. So there's one here and one here. This isn't empty because I'm in it. So, um, the closest victim to you becomes a maniac. This is our last maniac. So luckily, you're limited by the number of meeples that you have, and there are only six minion meeples. So this is a, we are full maniac out on the board. This is the closest victim. The closest victim to the ratchet lady becomes a maniac. No, because we're out of we're out of maniacs, so that won't happen. For each maniac you were unable to place due to running out of meeples. This game knew. We are going to increase the bloodlust for every maniac we weren't able to place. It was only one. So that goes up, but one more and we get to the dark power. So this card Sorry, everyone. One more, so we went from here to here. One more, we get to the dark power, and we flip this card over. This is this is ramping up so quickly. Now all maniacs panic. Okay, great. So let's roll some dice to see how they panic. We'll start with this maniac here. Okay, a five. So four to five, they're going to run out this way. It's based on these numbers on the board there. All right, this maniac. Four, they go here. Oh no. Maybe I can get, this is that not bad though. Maybe they'll run away from me. Okay, so one of these, six, they go, oh cool, they come into my space. Great, bad, not a fan. A five, okay, this one comes this way. Cool, cool, cool. And another six. That's not what we want. Now there's two in the space with me. All right, so I'm going to definitely have to deal with them on this turn. Yeah, the bloodlust has gone up quite quickly here with so few, with only one dead victim, too. Okay, so they've all panicked. Great. Now we would do a panic phase, but no victims died this turn, so none of them will panic. Uh, and now I will play my turn. Oh no, Camelisk, who's playing along with us at home, also just drew March of the Maniacs. <laughs> All right. So, great. So let me just double check. I believe to move out of a space with two minions, you will take damage. I, that's probably in the minions rules here, but let's just double check. Oh no, here it is right here. If you, there are maniacs in your space and you want to leave the space, you receive one damage for each maniac more than one. So I would take one damage to just leave this space. So I kind of think we should kill them. Let me see what I've got here. Oh, I could calm. This is what I should do. I should try and calm them. Though, if you don't get two successes, you increase the bloodlust. But if this works, I'll save those two victims. Yeah, exactly, Foggy Broom. Calming them should immediately rescue them. Now, I don't have a close call, but I could, but I am going to roll three dice. We should do this. Okay, I'm going to try and do calm. The horror's low right now, even though I'm in a room with some maniacs. Um, and if I get two successes from three dice, they will both become victims. Everyone say a blessing over these dice real quick, right? Oh, come on. Oh, oh! <laughs> Three successes! Yes! Good blessings, everyone. Okay. Well, that means I'm getting granola everywhere. 
people on YouTube watching this now know what it's like to actually watch me stream live. I'm usually eating. I'm sorry for doing this in a YouTube video. They become, mm, mm, they become victims. Perfect. So I've calmed them. They've come back to their right mind. Thank you, guest gex, to you on YouTube. Um, and then because we're in an exit space, I go, you're calm, now get out of here. Yay, Beaky clapped along at home. I'm so excited. So we're gonna save these two victims. Whoops. Oh no, I'm, I'm ruining everything. They're there. We're gonna save these two victims and put them on my card and we're gonna get time. So we're gonna get four time now. I don't think I got as much time as I should have last time, right? I gave myself six, but I started six and I only did 10. I should have been up to 12. So I should actually have, I could actually have taken those two close calls into my hand. So we're gonna retcon and say that I did that, right? Okay, because now I'm getting four and starting with six will give me to 10. So everyone who caught that on YouTube, there you go. I don't think I lost the two time. I think I just didn't give it to myself properly. I could be wrong. Maybe, oh, maybe not. Did I, was I on four and then I added six? Okay, well maybe I was, maybe not. I'll put these two back. We'll just say, you know what, whatever happened, you just have to deal with it, okay. Awesome. Great. Very good. Couldn't have been better. Let's run away. <clears throat> We're going to try and come down to medical storage. So I'm going to sprint. Or I could. I've got this critical blow in my hand. Should I just go kill the lady? No. Let's go down to medical storage because my attacks will be better if I have a weapon. So we're going to sprint. I roll three dice again. We're going to see how far down we can get. Now that's more of a Paula roll. Okay, so. Hmm. If I can convert one of those, I'll move up to two spaces, which will get me closer to where I wanna be. Three spaces isn't gonna be that much better. I like note it in the Twitch chat saying, I heard a squeak from across the room. It must have been something big like good rolls. It was a very good roll, Noda. All right, I'm gonna discard these two cards to convert one of these into a success, which will let me move up to two spaces. I'm gonna come down here, but it does cost me time. So I'm down to nine time. Now let's walk. If I get two successes, I can come into this room with the pill because I'll be able to move two spaces. So let's see what happens. Three dice again, because the whore hasn't gone up. Oh my gosh. I wasted my good roll. Oof, y'all. I can move up to... I'm not going to spend any cards. I'm going to hold on to what I have. So what I can do is, with no successes, I can move up to one space, take a damage, and lose two time. And I'm just going to do that. Yeah, this roll feels more right. So I'm going to move one space, take a damage. I'm down to three health. Um, and I lose two time, which brings me down to seven. And now I'm in a space with a minion, which is not ideal, but that's where we're at now. And I'm going to stop there. I'm going to hold on to these three cards I have left. So these all go away. And now I have seven time to spend on other cards. And I think I might want, um... Oh, 
boy. Um, I think I'm going to spend... Four on a retaliate, which brings me down to three. Then I'm going to do two. Terrible. One on a close call. And I guess two on a search. I don't know if I'm making good choices, but this is this is what I have. Okay. So that's my planning phase. So now we have the killer phase. So the minion will move to me. Um, did I move them all properly last turn? I think I did, because then they all spawned. It's fine. I'm keeping up with all of it. It's fine. It's fine, everyone. Um, so here's the cards I currently have. Yeah, rolling three dice, you have a 30% chance to get no successes. And that's the polydimine dice curse. I have a search, a close call, a retaliate, a critical blow, a walk, and a weak attack. It's not the best, but I have a plan. I want to come into this room and pick up this pill. I have to end my turn, though, to do that. So that's why I was like, just a walk. I'll wait to grab the sprint. I already have the search, so I'll have it in my hand for when I hopefully get into medical storage. And then hopefully next turn I'll be able to pick up a calm or a sprint to be able to like do some more stuff. And I got the retaliate just in case I get attacked by minions this turn so that I can do some damage back to them. So that's kind of where my, my head is. So the minions are going to move toward me. This one's already in a space with me. Oh, this is bad. This one comes into the space with me. This one comes down into the common room because it's one space away. One, two, three, one, two, three. So this one's gonna come around this way. One here coming toward me. Again, Ratchet Lady would attack if she was in a space with someone, but she's not. So she won't do anything yet. Don't worry, she will be. And now we flip over a tarot card. No! <gasps> Blood Jolt. The whore's gonna go up by two. Goodbye, rolling three dice. And the Ratchet Lady recovers two health. She's getting stronger. And also remember our event, anytime you recover health, you recover an additional health. So she's gonna get three more health. So she's just gone from six total health to nine health. This is horrible. Yes, thank you, Freak Boy NW. He says Blood Jolt right now is horrible. This is terrible. <laughs> we're going to die. And our horror level goes up to three. So now we're going to go back to rolling two dice. I need to, I need to eat my feelings. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. No one died that turn, so there's no panic. Not it for the killer phase. She's gotten so strong, and it's really bad, and now it's my turn. I need coffee. All right. Now I don't have a calm, now I wish I had taken that calm because there are two in my space with me and I don't want to take a damage. Should we try and do a weak attack? And then move? Let's try and do a weak attack, let's try and kill a minion, right? Weak attack. I only rolled two dice. I need, I'd really like to get two successes. Oh, no. 
was too horrific trying to kill someone who was my former friend in this asylum who's just happened to lose their mind. So I couldn't do it. And I hurt myself. In the process, and I have to end my turn. This is as bad as it could have gone. This is literally, this is the worst it could have been. Because this symbol means now you're done taking all your actions. So I take a damage. I'm down to two health. <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, wait, I have a close call. Hold on. Play after any horror roll. Hold up, y'all. To re-roll any one die. Come on. I rolled another one. Oh, well, I have six time to spend, so uh, let's get some stuff. I wonder if we should try and heal. All right, we're going to get a calm for two. We are going to get... a sprint for two. And we're going to get a guard for two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't take all of these. Oh, this, I did not put all of these back in the right spots, y'all. Wow, what in the world? These need to go back into their market situation. Okay, I can only take three of these cards. I'm gonna take the short rest and a, a focus and a walk. Okay, let me make sure I have 10 cards. Yeah, now that's as bad as it could be, right? That that close call failed us. A walk, focus, short rest. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hand limit. Now, if I save one more person, I go to my, like, superpower. But, okay, now close call will go back here. Weak attack will go back there. That was pretty nasty so now it's the killer phase again the minions all move toward me this is so horrible I now have three minions in my space I'm sorry I keep forgetting to switch back to my map shot so here's what happened they were here this minion comes into my space and this minion comes here I'm surrounded by maniacs And then, again, Ratchet Lady so far has not moved. Now we flip over our terror card. Don't worry. This won't hurt. I don't believe you. Ratchet Lady only. Oh, here we go. She targets me. Sorry, as I shake the, I'm so like amped from this that I uh, amped, that I shook the whole camera. So Ratchet Lady targets me. She's going to move twice. She's going to move eight, y'all. Her speed right now is four. Trapper Dan, this, the killer is about to get me. And then she's going to attack twice. I, this, I literally might die right now. All right, it doesn't matter how what, what path she takes because she's going to be able to get to me. One, two, three, four, five. It only takes her five. So now she's in a space with me. And now she attacks twice. Now, okay, here's the thing, though. Right now, she's only doing one damage per attack. But I only have two health. So... I think it's time to retaliate. Now, when you do something that could damage, even though I don't have my, I don't have a weapon yet, which is bad. I've never been able to get to that scalpel. I have to pick, am I damaging the killer or the minions? 
You can't spread the damage between the two. Now, I can if I'm damaging the minions, then I do all of my damage to all of them. So if I were to do three damage, each one would take one, they'd all die. But I can't do three to them and one to her, right? So I'm picking, and, and in this case, I'm not doing an attack. I'm doing a, uh, a defensive reaction that will do some damage back. So it's against the killer because that's who's attacking me. Um, so I believe that's how that has to go. I don't think I even can choose the minions right now, right? Um, so, retaliate. If I get two successes, I can ignore all the damage from the attack and do two back. All I need is one success, because she's only going to do one damage to me. So, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. There was almost a success in there. Do you see it? How there was almost a success? Where, where was this person? I think they're down there. All right, what are we going to, what are we going to? We're going to discard two cards. Ugh, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Shoot. All right. I'm discarding short rest and a walk. I'm discarding my healing because I, 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 because we gotta be on the offensive. So that will turn this into one success. So I will reduce the damage from the attack by two. Um, and so that means I won't take any from that attack. And then I will do one damage back to her. So she's down to eight health. Cute. <laughs> hey, Roast Beef Sandwich. Welcome to our final girl stream. They're very fun games. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Hopefully you'll be able to pick up on kind of what's going on here as we go. Um, and I'm close to dying at this moment. Now she attacks again. And in this case, because I don't have anything else that can damage her back, I'm just going to play my guard. Which will just won't do damage to her, but it will reduce damage to me depending on what I get. So I just need, again, I just need... I don't even need to succeed in this because no, no successes. I'll still reduce the damage by one, and right now she's only doing one. So... Okay, so no successes. I'm not going to discard anything because reduce damage by one. She's only doing one. Oh, to a minimum of one. No, I do need a success. Oh, why you have to be like that card? This is terrible. I mean, here goes all of my... Shoot. All right, I'm discarding focus and search to turn this into a success to reduce the damage by two. So I take no damage from this. So I didn't die. I should have just let, honestly, though, I should just, should I just let her damage me? Because then I'll get an extra die to roll. You know what? Let's live life dangerously. Forget that. I'm not converting it. I'm going to let her damage me because here's why. I will be down to one health. When you're down to one health, you get an adrenaline rush. So I have plus one die. So now, even though I'm the horror level's here, I'll roll three dice. And if I can get it down, I'll roll four dice. So we're just doing it. Yeah, Camilla's getting there. Play along. Did that too. Drop to one health for the extra die. Do I have the ultimate dice yet? I don't know. I don't have them. Yeah, Super Bad is Funny is not on board with my um, strategy here, but that's right. Noda, as Noda says in Twitch chat, we're living on the edge. Okay, no one died. Oh, no, but look, if the Ratchet Lady damages you, the closest victim becomes a maniac. Um, it would be one of these two. So we'll say this one becomes a maniac. Nasty and bad. Okay. So I've got a little, like, cushion behind my back, and it keeps, like, falling down. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. It's my turn. Y'all, we're doing a critical blow. 
I'm going to roll three dice because I have one health left. And I am going to attempt to take out these minions. So, let's see if I can, if I can succeed in this, I will do three damage and lower the horror, and that'll take out one damage per minion, and then I can run away. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it, look. Okay, so that's two successes. So that's three damage, and I said I was targeting the minion. So one, two, three, they're all gone. The whore comes down one, and that was as good as we could have hoped for there. Now I want to walk and get the heck out of here. So again, three, because I want to pick up this pill. Okay, one success. I can move up to one space. Get me out of here. I in end my movement there so I'll pick this pill up okay so I have a pink pill which will help me lower the horror which I think I might do now I'm gonna take this pink pill I really want oh, if I could get them all then I could draw an amped card no I'm gonna hold on to this because maybe I can get an amped card because man those are cool it would be really cool to show you on amped card Okay, so I think that's how I'm gonna end my turn. Maybe I should have calmed. Instead, I should have attacked her and then calmed the victims, but. Actually, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna try and focus. That'll be the last thing I do on my turn. See if we can get this down. Uh, no. I'm not gonna, where'd these go? I don't know, something like that. No, this was down here. Um, I'm not going to discard cards. It's fine. This was just to see. I lose two time for doing it, which isn't great, but that's that. Okay, so I only have three time. Those come over here. So I'm going to spend those three time. I want to be able to come into the medical storage and search so I can get that scalpel. Scalpel, excuse me. Um, I'm going to have to use a sprint to do it. Three time, I think. I wonder if I should get an improvise. I have a search, a calm, and a sprint. I'm gonna get a weak attack and a focus. I could just get two close calls though. I need something defensive. She might come after me. Uh, I think I need to spend two of that on a guard and one on a close call. All right, now I'm gonna put these cards back where they go. Zero costs go here, my critical blow, which hopefully I can get back again. Okay. So that's me. So now I need to, I'd really like to save one more victim. <laughs> if only the ratchet lady would give me some of her health, right? Um, so now it's the killer phase. So the minions are going to move toward me. So this one comes here and this one comes here. Ratchet lady will attack, but I moved out of her space. And now we flip over a tarot card. Blood transfusion. Oh, no. Roll a die and place it at the bottom of this card if all dice are on the card. Resolve it. Resolve as if you had rolled a four. Oh no. I need a six. Okay, this is very interesting. Let me put this where we can see it a little better. I'm gonna read this out loud to you. So if I roll a one to a three, I have to do it again. I keep rolling. If I roll a four or a five, I take damage, which will kill me, by the way and she will recover health equal to the number of dice I've had to roll every time I've resolved. But if I roll a six, she'll suffer damage and I will recover health. So straight up, I'm probably gonna die right now because I only have one health left. So this might be enough to kill me. That's 
a six, baby. Okay, so she will suffer one damage. She's down to seven now. Ha, 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 ha. So I'm taking this and putting it over here. I will recover one health because there's only one die on this card. So I lost my extra die to roll here. Yay, thank you for those bits, uh, Growing Mouse Studios, cheering along with my success. So I lose my bonus die, but I'm not on the brink of death anymore, and that is the best that could have gone. That was very lucky. Okay, that's it. No panicking. We've only had one victim die, which is kind of crazy, and I cannot believe we haven't revealed this dark power yet. I recovered. Oh, that's right. Good call, Camelisk. Camelisk and Twitch has reminded me. Because of my medical stockpile, I recover. Whenever we heal, we get an additional, me or the enemy. So I actually get, I'm now up to three health. Pretty good. All right. So, it's me again. And now I would like to, I'm going to have to sprint to do this. I don't have a regular move card and I want to try and get to the medical storage to get that scalpel so I'm only rolling two dice so let's see what happens this is so horrible why am I rolling so badly y'all look at this what the heck I am going to discard a close call and a focus to convert this to a success so that I can move up to two spaces. I'm just going into medical storage. That costs me a time. And then I'm going to play my search and hopefully get one success so I can grab this scalpel. All right, one success, very good. Take the top item card at your space. This is what I want, the scalpel, which I'm gonna put into my hand right there. So I now have a weapon. When using the scalpel, add an additional damage for every two stars on your horror roll. But if I get no successes, I hurt myself. Makes sense. So this is actually only helpful if I rolled two successes. Otherwise, it doesn't do any additional damage. Oh, this isn't the best. I worked so hard to get this, and now I'm realizing that it's not the best weapon. <sighs> well, that's life. That is life. And that's my turn. I'm going to hold on to these cards. Um, I have five, I believe it is, to spend here. Oh, no. I, cost, I lost a time for my search. And I lost time for my sprint, so I have four to spend. I'm going to get back all my zero cost cards. What do I have? Guard, weak attack, calm, short rest, walk, walk, focus. I could just spend the four on that retaliate. I think I might do that. All four on a retaliate. To defend myself. Okay. Okay. So that's me. It's the killer face. I've luckily moved just slightly away from them. Now here's the trick. Here's where things get a little tricky. The minions are going to move um, the minions are going to move toward me one space. They could go this way one space or they could go this way one space. We need to decide basically like what's the worst thing for me for them to do and it's to come into the space with the victim because I'm going there to try and get the victim to save them and it, they're going to make it harder for me to leave. So they are going to move in that way toward the person who they also want to turn into a maniac. So that's why they're going to go that direction. Uh, again, Ratchet Lady would attack but no one's in the space with her so let's flip over our tarot card. I found some candy. If there are no pill tokens or victims on the board, discard and draw. Okay, we have pill tokens and victims. Move all victims not in your space one closer to the nearest uh, pill token. Okay, cool. Well, this victim is going to go 
to the exit, which is actually very good. This victim's gonna go in here with them. This one's gonna go here. And this one will go, oops, geez, I'm just throwing victims all over the place, in there. So they're now all with pills, okay? For each pill token that has at least, oh no, this is not good. <laughs> For each pill token that has at least one victim in its space, that's three of them, roll a die. On a one to two, you discard the pill token and one victim dies. On a three to four, you discard the pill token and panic one victim because they're taking the pills. On a five to six, nothing happens and then I pull an event. All right, let's start with the one in the common room. A three. This pill token gets discarded and they panic. Okay, a five, they run to this hall. It'll teach you to take drugs that you don't know what they are. Uh, how do you deal with the guild of too many games, too many games on a wish list, not enough space to store them? Roast beef sandwich? That's such a good question. And uh, I'm for me, they end up just stacked all over, uh, they're behind this screen in a pile, and I need to give some of them away. <laughs> All right, this one, a five, nothing happens. Okay, so that one's safe. Okay, this one, a one. Discard the pill token and this victim dies, which increases the bloodlust, which means attacks go to two power, speed is still four, and now the dark power flips over. Why'd you have to take those drugs? Manic burst. This makes sense based on what's just happened here. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're having a panic at the disco, exactly. Whenever a maniac is placed on the board, immediately trigger the minion action for it. So whenever we get a new maniac, they come after me. That could be worse, I feel like. That could be a lot worse. Okay, so someone died, so we would do a panic phase, but no one is in the space with minions or victims. So... No one will panic. All right, it's me. Hi, it's me. I'm losing this game, yeah, it's me. Do I have a sprint? No, what? Oh boy. All right, let's walk. Maybe we can calm those minions. Uh, oh, I forgot to pull the event. Oh, good call, Foggy Broom. Thank you for catching that. We were supposed to pull an event on the bottom of this card. Dangerous addiction. How appropriate. Choose up to two victims that do not share space with you or each other. Place a face down pill token with both, one or neither of them. For each pill token you place, bloodlust. Okay, we're gonna do one. We're putting one there. The bloodlust will go up one. Oh no, but that means she's gonna heal two. Is that dumb? Because she'll heal one for the bloodlust going up to here, but she'll heal two for medical stockpile. But I'd like the pill. Risky, let's do it. <laughs> All right. That, maybe that was such a terrible idea, but, and then we discard this. Okay. All right, now we go. Now we're going to try and move. We're going to walk. Well, we hope we can walk. I'm rolling two dice. Man, I tell you what, my dice rolls have not been good today, have they? They've been really not great. Um, I'm 
I'm gonna hold on to cards. I'm gonna move one space. I'm gonna take a damage hit and I'm gonna lose two time. I'm holding on to my cards. Now I'm gonna try and calm these two maniacs. Calm. I need, I need a, I need a success. Oh, thank goodness, y'all. I got so scared when I saw that. She's a maniac, maniac, but I'm calming her down and she'll become a victim once again. Okay, so one maniac in my space or an adjacent space becomes a victim. So this one will now be a regular old victim and they're going to come with me. And then the bloodlust goes up, which means the horror level goes up because we went from here to here. This is okay, look, and now, now, we're gonna walk again. Cause I'm gonna save these people, I'm saving them. Two doors, let's go. Oh, one success. Ding, 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 ding. I lose a time. I don't lose a time for, no. Uh, and we can move up to one space. This victim will come with me. They will leave, uh, they will leave a space with a minion in it, but not with a killer. So they're going to come with me. And guess what, y'all? I'm going to end my turn here. I'm going to save these two victims, and I'm going to get these pills. A yellow and a pink. Cool. If only I could get a purple, I get an amped card, but I don't think it's going to happen, honestly. All right, so we've got one saved here, which covers up this last thing. We've saved seven, six victims. That's really good. So that's going to get us one time back. And now this card flips over. For the rest of the game, you reset time to seven at the end of the planning phase. For each additional victim saved, gain three time. Well, here's my additional, so I get... Seven to start with now. Heck yeah. Very happy about that. So, okay. We've got that going. We can do this, y'all. We can do this, maybe. That ratchet lady has a lot of health. I don't think we can do it, but yeah. Yeah, how many cards do we have left? Four tarot cards? Okay. Let's go. Let's do this. Uh, that's how I'm ending my turn. So I have seven to choose from, seven to spend here. I have a retaliate, a guard, a weak. You know what? I kind of think we get another critical blow. Because I think it's time to start attacking Miss Thang. So we're going to spend six on the critical blow and one on the close call. That's what I'm doing, seven. And then this resets to seven. These are my cards. I'm going to put these back. All right, and now it's killer time. So oh, this minion's gonna come in a space with me, right? And then there would be attacking here, but she's alone, so let's flip over the terror card. We are helping. Okay, we have victims, so we'll do the two closest victims to you become maniacs. That's all that's left. So this is a maniac. This is a maniac. You're not helping. Whenever a maniac is placed on the board, immediately trigger the minion action for it. So they move toward me. One this way. One this way. And then they do it again. Maniacs only. They're going to come toward me. Here and here. And then I lose a time for every maniac in your space. Just one. Thank goodness. So we're down to six. Okay. Could be worse. They just want a hug. Hello, Ravens. How are you? <sighs> Great. Now it's me. <laughs> Gotta get out of here and kill that lady. Do I not have any movement? Oh, I'm a dum 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 dum. 
Well, I'm going to focus and then not do anything else because I didn't get any movement cards. Which wasn't super smart of me. Can't believe it. Oh, Ravens, I'm so glad you're enjoying uh, Death by Monsters. Everyone, Death by Monsters is a podcast I used to do with M Nick Murphy and Matthew Jude. And Matthew Jude and I have a new podcast now called Remember, Remember, uh, which is a history podcast, and I hope that you will check it out as well. I'm going to drop a link to it in chat. Oh, Kamarowski's on it. Thank you for dropping that, Kamarowski. All right, we're just going to try and focus, and then that's it. That's the whole turn, and that was I made some bad choices there, but that's okay. So two dice to try and get the horror level down. I'm going to play my close call and re-roll one of these and just see what happens. Nope. Uh, we're just leaving it. I lose two time. I'm not spinning any cards. Wasn't great, but that's that. Okay, so now I have four to choose from. Mm, guess what? We need a sprint for two time. And you know what? Let's take a calm as well for two time. So this resets to seven. The minions will all move toward me. So this one's going to come here. Let me close up on the map here. This one will come into my space. Again, Ratchet Lady hasn't moved, but now we're going to flip a terror card. We're getting very close to the end of the game. What is this place doing to me? Draw two side effect cards. That's not good. Okay. So we draw them one at a time. What's the first one? Reset. Shuffle this and all other side effect cards back into the deck. Oh. That answered that earlier question. We should not have shuffled those back into the deck yet. From earlier. All right, and second one. Normal, no effect. Lovely. Quick on shuffle. That's all right, that's all right. All right, that could have been way, 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 way worse. Okay, and then, oh, I don't, no, 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 this is bad. So we're getting targeted, moved, and attacked. Now, here's the question. Who exactly is targeting me? I think everyone, I think everyone is. I think that's what this means. Everyone is going to target me, move and attack. This is actually very bad. So we get one movement. And what's her movement? Four. It's just the killer. Let's confirm. Okay, when playing with minions, the killer phase follows the same rules with following changes. When resolving tarot cards, unless otherwise stated, all enemies will perform any killer actions one at a time. Minions should always act first, followed by the killer. I think they both do it, because this doesn't specify the killer. I think they all are going to do this. Thank you for that subscription, Multi Whiskers. It's bad. So four speed. So one, two. So I am now in a space with everyone. So this is how it's going down. I didn't need uh, I didn't need the sprint cards because they've come to me. They all attack now. So this is how I die. This is how I die. Uh, so the minions will each do one damage to me. So I need to do something about that. I believe they attack as one unit. So I believe if I guard, I can deal with all the damage in one go. I don't think I have to resolve it separately. If that's wrong, then I'm doing it wrong. But I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So I'm gonna play my guard and hope to do, don't let me forget I need to do an event on that. And hope that I get two successes. Holy moly, I did. Ignore all damage. So I don't take damage from the minions. I don't think. Okay. So now the killer goes. 
and I'm going to play my retaliate on her. So let's go. <gasps> I just did, I just did two successes two times in a row. Guess what? Okay, so this is ignore all damage from the attack plus do two damage plus with my scalpel for every two stars I do an additional. So I'm doing three damage to her. That was amazing. I take no damage and I do three damage to her. So she's down to one, two, three, four, five, six, her starting health. Great. Wow, 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 wow. All right, and now we do an event. Powerful meds. Whenever you consume a pill or pills, draw an additional side effects card. So now I need to draw one no matter what. Even if I do a single pill, normally I wouldn't draw a side effect card. Here, I draw an additional one. So, cool. I'm not going to get an amped card. I wanted to show them to you. Maybe I'll show them to you at the end of the game. They're pretty cool. All right. Okay, that's it. It's me. Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Critical blow against our killer. I need two successes. Oh, should I actually? No, I can't. I was like, should I try and lower the horror level? But I actually can't. So, two successes. Um, two dice. Yes, when attacking minions, you can spread out your damage against them, but not uh, the killer. Uh, that is very true. Well, that blows, y'all. Okay. So I'm going to discard two cards. My sprint and my short rest. To turn this into one success. So that does two damage. But it's not enough to do extra with my Skype scalpel. So two damage to her. The horror level will come down one, but then my turn is over. So not great, but could be worse. Could be worse. That's my whole turn. And I don't get to calm the minions. So here we are. All right, but I do have seven. That didn't cost me any time. So I do have seven left to spin. So let's get, I wish I could get retaliate again. I think a guard is gonna be a good thing to get for two. And then a close call for one, and that leaves four left. Now I'm gonna get the furious strike. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have some cards we can discard here now. Now I'm going to put these back. All right. So now it's them. They go. So everyone's moved in toward me. The uh, killer, the ratchet lady, is going to attack me and try and do two damage here. What do you mean that's not two successes? No, it's not two successes. So I couldn't add the extra for my uh, scalpel. Um, but one success did the two damage. Right? Yes, I'm pretty sure I've done that correctly. Oh, sorry. I think you're being like, oh, that's not two successes, which we really needed. Yeah, I get it. Hi, Micken. Every time the line from that song comes up, I'll stare directly at the sun. I just burst out laughing. <laughs> Micken. <laughs> okay. So Ratchet Lady is attacking me for two, which will kill me if I can't stop it. So this is when we use this guard card. So I'm going to roll two dice. And I need... I won't die, basically. Even if I get no successes, I won't die. Okay, I got one success, which means I can reduce the damage by two, which means I will take no damage. So that's good. 
I don't do any back in return, but I don't take any damage. Now we flip over a terror card. And we only have one left, so y'all, game's about to be over. Join us or die. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. That means we're about to have the finale. Because this is the last terror card. All hail the new master. If there are no victims on the board, discard and draw the next terror card. What do I do? I just discard and now we just go right into the finale. Do we flip the finale now? Yeesh. So none of that happens. And now the because there's no terror deck, there's no terror card to flip over, we immediately go to our finale. So we're gonna flip this over and see what terrible bad thing happens. It's raining maniacs. Hallelujah, except opposite of hallelujah. Oh no. So I think we resolve this now. Oh, I don't like it. Some have immediate effects when they are revealed, and some have ongoing effects that should be applied as the card indicates. Okay. Well, these are what happens in their actions. I don't think that happens yet. If there are no maniacs in play when this is revealed, you spawn two. Okay, so this is what's going to happen on their next turn. I think that's it. That's We don't need to spawn any because there are certainly maniacs around. Um, if, there, if the maniacs were actually raining from the sky, they'd actually be much less of a problem. So they just end up liquefied puddles of flesh on the ground. That's gross, but also true. I think we get one more turn, basically. I don't think they're going to do... I don't think they're going to do this... Um, this action until their turn. All right. Sorry, I'm fidgeting a lot out of, like, nerves for how this is going. It's Rainiacs. Very good. Very good. All right, here we are at the end of the game. It's me. And we are going to first try to focus. Let's see if we can get... Oh, you know what we could do, though? We could take a pill. Let's do it. We're taking a pink pill to lower the horror by one. So we'll roll three dice. But I do need to flip a side effect because of powerful meds. Thank goodness, no effects. Some of these are like you're paralyzed, you can't do anything. Like you could basically lose it. For this one, I only need to flip one because I've only taken one pill. It says, uh, normally it would say you took one, you do not need to draw a side effect card. But this says whenever you consume, you draw an additional side effect card. So I go from zero to one here. So I think that's all that I need to do there if I'm reading that correctly. All right, if I'm reading it correctly. And I think I am. Okay. Let's Furious Strike and try and take out the Ratchet Lady. She has four health. I could do two damage right now. I could do three damage if I roll two successes. So let's see what happens. I'm rolling three dice. And I need two successes. Well, that's one success, but I'm going to discard some cards to get a second. I'm going to discard these two walks because I don't need them. And that makes this a success. So I now have two successes, which means I'll do an extra damage with my scalpel, which means I'm doing three damage plus lowering the horror by one. Oh, yeah. Now, look, I get to roll an extra die because they're down to one health. I get an adrenaline rush from it. So my next thing is going to be four dice I get to roll. <laughs> That's right, lady. I'm taking her out. Weak attack? I don't think, can I, I never knew, can I buff my weak attack with a weapon? I think I can, it would say, if I couldn't. 
So again, we're rolling four dice. All we have to do, y'all, is one damage to her, right? So we just need a success. We need, y'all, we just need one success. We just need one. And we did it. We got two, which means we're doing three damage, one here and extra for here, not that it matters. She, pff, we stab her scalpel right into the chest of the ratchet lady. She falls to the ground. I look around, surrounded by maniacs. But here's what we have to do. We have to flip this token because she might actually have extra health. And we'll know because Jack chose this. Ready? Oh no, she has two health. Uh, does she get one of these? I think so. So she gay, she, I think she's dead. I turn back to try and calm my maniacs. She pops back up. Ah, no. How about we try and calm everyone now? Still rolling three dice now, not four. Three dice. We're going to attempt to calm the minions. Okay. I do not want the bloodlust to go up because she's going to heal back three and then it's way over. So we are going to discard my last two cards to transfer this into a success so that up to two maniacs in my space can become victims. These two will turn into victims. Now they won't run away, I believe, because we're even though we're at an exit, because they're in a space with the killer. They're too scared. I believe that's what happens here. So... Um, they're just here with me. <sighs> All right. I don't think I spent any time. So I think I have seven to do here. And then we basically are going to have like one turn left if I can survive, which I might not. So we definitely want four retaliate, two guard, one close call. That's our seven. And that's all we're going to have. It's not good. Oh, we get a short rest and a focus. That'll be good for discarding. Y'all, my cards are such a mess right now. Okay. Now it's the killer phase. So everyone's attacking. So this one minion is going to... Will they leave? Here, let's t let's confirm, Camillus, because I'll get more time and can spend more. I'll get six extra time if I can save them both. So let's actually double check about saving victims. It doesn't specify. So I think I can convince them to go. Um, victims will not follow you into a space with the killer. Uh, if there are already victims in the space with the killer and you move out of that space, they will gladly follow you. Aha. Okay, I think they will run away. Okay, cool. That's awesome, actually. So we saved these two. And for uh, each additional victim saved, I get three times. So I had six more to spend. So I am going to, oh, I already put cards back. I'm gonna try to not, the critical blow was still here. I'm in grabbing critical blow. I don't think that had been, that was available to me. That's all six. Okay, great. So now we have one minion and a ratchet lady. So the minions will attack me twice. This minion will attack me twice, that's two damage. So those are two separate attacks that I have to deal with. I need to stop one of them if I can. 
So I'm going to use my guard and try to stop one. So I'm going to roll three dice. Okay, I got one success, which means I can reduce the damage by two. So I miss the one. Thank you so much for gifting that subscription, CDMVC. Enjoy that, Noda. Uh, thank you so much for doing that. So I ignore the damage from the first attack. They attack again. I'm going to take that damage so that I get an extra die when I roll. So I have one hit point left. Now my... Uh, Oh no, now we spawn two maniacs? This is terrible. And then she's going to attack me. So you see in the finale, spawn two maniacs in the Ratchet Lady's space. And then she'll target and attack. So now she's going to attack me for two. Again, that will absolutely kill me, but I need to retaliate. So if I can roll two successes, I could kill her in this retaliate right now. So I'm rolling four dice. If I get two successes, I will ignore all the damage. I will do two damage to her, and then with my scalpel, I'll do an extra, which is three, which will kill her. All right. Oh no, wait! Whenever a maniac is placed on the board, immediately trigger the minion action for it. So, oh no. So I have two that are gonna attack me right now. I have two more attacks I have to deal with. I can't do this! Ugh! I can't, I can't survive it. That, uh, no! Okay, so this retaliate goes against the minions. I guess. Okay, four dice retaliating against the minions who are now attacking me. That's one success, which will reduce damage from the attack by two and kill them. So I think that will keep me from taking damage. I might be fudging things a little here. Uh, I believe that will protect me from both damage from the minions, and then I deal one damage. So one minion dies, and I'm protected from both damage, I think. But that means I can't protect myself against her. Yeah, there's no, there's no, because I've played that. And now she'll attack me for two. I can't defend myself. So now we see what kind of health I have. Maybe I pop back up or maybe I'm dead. I'm dead. In a desperate attempt where I think I get my own hubris. I can do this. I've got you now. And as I rear back with my scalpel, two minions suddenly come out of from behind a filing cabinet. They grab me. And I go, what? And then the ratchet lady takes me out right before I think I'm survived. But I saved a ton of people. And, I, and I'm not the final girl. But I was close. I was close to it. That's that. Y'all, these amped cards are so cool. I didn't get to show you any of them because I didn't get enough pills. Um, but there was Rabid Fury. Fury Strike is now a zero cost card, which is amazing. Extreme Agility. Roll an additional die for all your horror rolls. Rapid Healing. Resistance to Dark and Minor Dark Powers. And you get a second Final Girl ability. They're really cool. I just didn't get enough pills to be able to take them. Oh no, Rendito says, thanks for a fun stream. The last time I tried this one, she had like 12 health. That's a lot. 
Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I really appreciate you sticking around, hanging out for this final girl playthrough live on Twitch and re-uploaded, re-uploaded, uploaded for the first time to YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. If you want to catch these games live, I stream them every month over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Paula Deming. It's linked in the description below. Also, a big thank you to Van Ryder Games for sponsoring these monthly final girl streams. If you want no if you want to know more about the game, there is a link in the description below, as well as one now in the Twitch chat for those of you who are watching me live. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I think that's it. We'll see you next month uh, for more Final Girl. Thanks, everyone. Bye.